batteries are made of gold. Electric wires are made up of copper. Cooking pots are made up of aluminium. Mercury is used in making thermometer. Most of pools of dry cells are made up of graphite. Words consist of letters. Also, matter consists of a tiny particles called elements. So, any matter consists of tiny particles called molecules. And each molecule consists of one type of elements or more than one type of elements. Sentences consists of words and each word consists of a set of letters also matter consists of molecules which consists of elements It is the building unit of matter and it is the simplest form of matter so it can't decompose into two or more substances. The number of words is uncountable but all these words come from only 28 letters. Also, the number of materials is uncountable. But all these materials come from 112 elements. So the number of elements is 112 elements. 92 elements are found in the nature, while the rest is prepared in the laboratory. Elements classified into metals and non-metals. Metals have metallic cluster, so we use some metals such as gold and silver in the manufacture of jewelry, such as ring, earring, etc. While non metal have no metallic cluster, such as carbon and sulfur. You should note that the tip of the pencil is made up of graphite. Also, diamonds are a form of carbon which has bright shine. All metals are good conductors of 
of electricity. So electric wires are made up of copper because it is good conductor of electricity. All metals are bad conductors of electricity, except graphite. So we use graphite in making busted boots of dry cells. because it is a good conductor of electricity. All metals are good conductors of heat. So cooking butts are made up of aluminium. All non-metals are bad conductors of heat. Because it is good conductor of heat and it has high melting point. Is the temperature at which the substance changes from solid state into liquid state by heating. Elements have different melting points. For example, high melting points while non-metals have low melting points. Metals are malleable and ductile, so we can bend, hammer and forming them. While non-metals are neither malleable nor ductile, so we can't hammer or form them. All metals are solids in the ordinary temperature, except mercury. So mercury is the only liquid metal.
Some other metals are solids, such as carbon and sulfur. The only liquid non-metal is bromine. Some non-metals are gaseous, such as oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen. in the manufacture of electric wires and also in the coils and tetus. Because it is good conductor of electricity in making constructing bridges, car chases, and house gates.